Hi, I'm Peter. In this Lens Studio tutorial, we'll cover how to use the Marker Template for creating world lenses. The Marker Template enables you to create a lens that tracks content to an image or snap code. This template is great for creating experiences that overlay custom 2D and 3D content onto a real-world image of your choosing. In this video, we'll edit the Marker Template to create a lens that displays 3D content when a unique image marker is visible. Let's get started. First, open Lens Studio. In the Launcher window, select the Marker Template to create a new project. To see the template's content in the Preview panel, make sure you're using a preview video that features the marker you intend to use. To change the preview video, click the drop-down at the top of the preview panel. Click Add New at the bottom of the drop-down. In the file dialog that opens, navigate to your video file. Select it and choose Open. You should now see your video in the preview panel. With our custom preview video playing, we can now set up our custom image marker. We'll do this by creating a new image marker resource. In the Resources panel, select Add New Image Marker. In the file dialog that opens up, select the image you'd like to use as your marker and select Open. You should now see a new image marker resource at the bottom of the Resources panel. To track the lens content to this image, we need to set our new image marker as the tracking target. In the Objects panel, select the object named Image Marker Edit Me. In the Inspector, you can see the object's marker tracking component. Select the Marker Tracking Component's Marker field to edit it. In the Resource Selection pop-up, select your Image Marker resource and click OK. The template's content should be overlaid on the video tracking your unique marker. You can also use a Snapcode marker instead of a custom image marker. A Snapcode marker allows you to track any Snapcode in your lens. The Marker template includes a Snapcode marker resource you can assign as the tracking target. In the Objects panel, Select the object named Image Marker Edit Me in the Objects panel. Select the Marker Tracking Components Marker field to edit it. In the Resource Selection pop-up, select the Snapcode marker found in the folder named Markers, Replace Me. To see it working in the Preview panel, you can add a video of any Snapcode marker. For the rest of this example, we'll continue to use the custom image marker we set up earlier. With our image marker set up, we should update the scanning hint to include a preview of the image we want users to look for. In the Objects panel, select the object named Magnifying Hint Edit Me located under the Orthographic Camera object. In the Inspector panel, select the Script Components Preview Texture field to edit it. In the Resource Selection pop-up dialog, select Add New Import Files. Navigate to your image, select it, and select OK. Now, when the image is off-screen, you should see a hint that previews the custom image marker. Now that we're able to see the template content tracking the marker in the preview video, let's replace the template content with our own 3D content. We'll start by importing our assets. In this example, we'll import a 3D mesh. Start by selecting the object named Mark the Monster Replace Me. Right-click on it and select Delete. Let's add a custom 3D mesh. In the Resources panel, select Add New Import Files. In the File dialog, we'll navigate to the 3D Mesh file, select it, and choose Open. You'll see that the selected 3D Mesh has now been added to the scene as well as the Resources panel. I'm going to set up the object's materials to make sure it renders the way we want. You can learn more about importing 3D objects, including how to set up materials in the Lens Studio documentation. Now that the mesh is in the scene, we need to make sure it's tracking the marker. To do this, it needs to be parented to the object named Image Marker Edit Me, just like the example content was. Select the imported mesh in the Objects panel. Click and drag it so that it's nested underneath the Image Marker object. To ensure that the object is positioned and oriented correctly, zero out its position and rotation in the Inspector panel. Our 3D object is now tracking the marker in the video. To make this lens feel complete, we can add a visual effect that triggers whenever the marker is found. The marker template includes a few fun effects that we can bring into the scene. You can find them in the Resources panel under the folder named Marker Prefabs. For this example, we'll use the Door Open effect. This effect transforms the marker into a door which animates open, revealing a hole where you can place your content. To use the Door Open effect, select it in the Resources panel. 
Click and drag it to the Objects panel. Be sure to drop it so that it's parented to the object named Image Marker Edit Me. With the Door Open Effect Prefab placed, you should see the door animating, revealing the hole. Let's position our content a little bit below the marker so that it's hidden until the door opens. Feel free to try out the other included effects, Explosion and Platform. You can set these up the same way, by dragging the Effect Prefab from the Resources panel into the Objects panel. Be sure to parent the Effect Prefab under the object named Image Marker Edit Me. The Door effect is triggered by a script which you can find on the object named Door Open Effect. This script, Door Controller, contains definitions for two callback functions, Unmarker Found and Unmarker Lost. These functions are called by the Marker Controller script when the marker is found and again when the marker is lost. The Explosion and Platform effects use similar scripts. You can find all these effect controller scripts in the Resources panel under Scripts, Effect Controllers. To learn more about this callback system and how you can use it to set up your own custom effects when the marker is found or lost, feel free to check out the Marker Template Guide in the Lens Studio documentation. With our 3D object being revealed by a door effect when the marker is found, we're ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching, and have fun creating your own marker lenses using the marker template in Lens Studio.